All right, what's going on YouTube? I'm Bashir, I'm a trucker, and I've been thinking about programming for quite some time now, but I've always been afraid of, you know, the things that I hear in regards to knowing math and always having to solve problems, <clears throat> always having to solve problems, um, you know, that mental strain or that mental stress, uh, and the stereotype behind it, like, oh, you got to be pretty much smart and nerdy and shit. But um, my current trucking job has been stressing me the fuck out lately. And, uh, you know, when you're on your own and you got bills to pay, you, how can I say this? You kind of go into, like, survival mode or you're always in survival mode when you're in an industry like trucking. Um, trucking has changed my life. I really enjoy it. Um but it's not something that I want to do until I'm 60. It's, and it's definitely not something I want to have to rely on until I'm 60 because, you know, the, the possibility of injury is higher than I would like it to be. And if you're injured, you can't work and pay your bills. Now, I've tried a bunch of things in my life. I've tried phlebotomy, personal training, uh, term life insurance, uh, I tried IT uh, before I got into trucking and I didn't really like it. Uh, it was actually hard. Let me just be honest with you. Getting that comp to you, then knowing that it was two tests, I was like, yeah, fuck that. Trucking was always, driving was just easier for me. Um, I uh, I'm also, also have an interest in like wholesaling real estate, um, but I don't want to be cursed out 24-7. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's been pretty much something that I can, that I've been trying to do on the side. But as far as a complete career change, where I don't have to come out of my pocket crazy that fits with my ridiculous trucking schedule that also is going to pay me some bread programming is something that I, I I can say at least I have somewhat of an interest in outside of the medical field and sports and things like that I mean programming seems like if I just stick to it try stay committed um I think it's definitely, you know, promising. I saw this one dude talk about how AI is going to take over all programmers. Well, I'm like, it ain't happened yet, so why not give it a shot? I also saw a video that talked about documenting, documenting each step of the way of the new programming journey. So this is what this video is. I uh, am pretty much going to tell you what day one was like um, programming. I use the free source called uh, Free Code Camp or FreeCampCode.com. And today was day one. And what I learned today was things called elements, open and closing elements, uh, the P element, the H1, H2 elements, um, targeting underscore blanks to open up a new tab uh things things like that um the first couple questions if you will was easy but then it definitely got tricky to the point where it was like all right what the fuck is this so i had to try different things um at level 13 or 14 i had to google to get the answer i just had to there was no way i was getting that target shit target underscore blank for those of you who've done it before you know what i'm talking about um but other than that when i actually got it right and it said code pass that shit did feel good it was like yeah you know what i mean um my thoughts moving forward i mean look i i don't know if i'm gonna become a programmer i really don't i just know i need to do something and um i hope this can help motivate those of y'all out there who, you know, probably in your late 20s or even your 30s. And it's like, yo, what the fuck should I do? I want to, I don't want to have to do backbreaking labor, but I want to make a living. You know what I mean? And um, you got to be willing to fail. You got to try. So this is pretty much what, what this is. I, I don't know if I'm going to do programming. Um, So far, I like, I like it. Uh, I am still afraid of the, you know, the crazy math that I hear about. Um. But I'm going to try to chip away at it little by little. I'm not really timing myself too much. I do want to get at least this first section done by 
within the next five months. Um, I want to have two sections done within a year. And by then, I'm going to try to, you know, apply. But, um, yeah, so today was really just, I would say, an intro to HTML, what to expect with HTML, web, web developing. Like, um, I like it. It's definitely different if you've never done it before. It kind of reminds me of the copy and paste MySpace era. If you remember that, uh, with a little, I mean, you can copy and paste the shit that you don't know, but you still want to at least try. Give it all you can before you, you go to Google, I would say. Um, and, 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 and you can't really beat yourself up for not knowing because like it's really a, a fucking language. It's really something new. Um, you just got to keep going. So today was day one. I'm documenting my step of the way. I can't promise that I'm going to do every single day, make a quick video about what I learned, but I'm going to definitely try to be a little bit more frequent with it. Day one, free code camp, HTML web design basics, attributes, elements, targeting, anchors, uh, things like that. So I spent about maybe an hour or an hour and a half on it, uh, just locked in and, uh, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I enjoyed it. So I, I'm looking forward to the next one, but it's definitely getting harder. I can see how it's getting like harder and harder and harder, but, um, so far day one, I enjoyed it. So yeah, um, uh, like the video, comment down below. I'm out and uh, subscribe. Peace.